explain and we can read what we came up with at the end. Oh, yes, you think? We have to do the whole story, that'll take hours. <laughs> no, just, ex yeah. just explain yeah. how it works. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think it will. Um, right, ours is quite different. It's not really a game as such. It's more to do with getting students to try and read more and have a little bit of fun with it. So basically the rules are this, without, I've got to find where I've written them all down. Uh, here we go, let's have a look. So there are three players per team. The aim of the game is to make a short story out of choosing um, a paragraph, the first paragraph from one book, the middle paragraph from a random book, and the third paragraph, the end paragraph from the last book. And to help to join up these kind of three separate paragraphs from three completely different books, we have um, the help of action cards and a situation card, which we thought would help to kind of link up and give them, an, uh, give them a little bit of a boundary to work out how to do it. So, for example, the action card is... <sighs> Say it. <laughs> Accidentally farting. I do... It is three boys I'm with here. <laughs> and the situation card is meeting royalty. So, at the end of the very first paragraph, the three people involved wouldn't know the books that the other people had and they wouldn't know what the action or situation was. So, you're kind of working completely individually. Um, so, at the end of the first paragraph, you would including accidentally farting and meeting royalty, you'd have to write that in to join the two paragraphs. Same again for the end paragraph, the next person would choose an action and situation. It sounds complicated, it isn't, we've actually tried it. Probably five minutes to write it out, you can have hysterically funny results. And the good thing or about really it is, or underwhelming <laughs> ones, and up to you. it would be reading books. Perhaps you choose the books for them, yeah. books they would never read. If they don't do anything else, they would have read a paragraph yeah. from a book they've never read. Mm -hmm. um, and and it could be tailored to really easy books for people who find it difficult to read, up to people who are very intelligent. You could have great fun making really good storylines out of it. Um, and the boys wrote really good, funny. Book that they don't want to read out, but we had great fun doing it. So, read a few of the situations, actually. Yeah, well, yeah. yes, there's got to be one better than accidentally farting. <laughs> Julian Clary, you met the Queen. Vomit violently is another <laughs> one. Must right, be I'll better do the situations, one, you this. do the actions. Alright, go on then. Okay, fighting at a wedding. Streaking. Marriage proposal. Getting caught out by your mum. House fire. Slowly cry yourself to sleep. Supermarket shopping. Going on strike. Car crash. A trying and failing to catch a baby. Stuck in a toilet. Climb a mountain. <laughs> and de uh, dentist waiting room. Or juggling chainsaws. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the limit is only your imagination for this, which is good because it gets the children a chance to think about things and read something they've never read before. So, a lot of fun, I think. <laughs>